Pakistan-based singer-songwriter Atif Aslam made his first international tour in the mid-2000s when he performed in the USA and Canada. And since 2010, he's been hitting the road at least once a year. He also has a very loyal following here in South Africa and their patience was rewarded when Atif gave a live concert performance recently. We weren't going to miss it and we made sure to capture the highlights. Atif Aslam has made his name as a singer, songwriter and actor and his voice can be heard on some of Indian cinema's most romantic song sequences of recent times. He's also established a sizable fan base in South Africa and Kriya was there to hear the king of pop at a popular Josie venue. When you think romance, the first name that comes to mind is Atif Aslam. He's been known to put the spice back into love songs and is a firm favourite in South Africa. The proof? The fact that this isn't his first South African tour and he sells out every single show. Impresarios Shaista Khan and Osman Osman have developed an excellent working relationship with Atif. Osman, it's great to have you on the show. An amazing concert this evening. Tell me, why did you decide to bring Atif Aslam back to South Africa? Blue Blood decided to bring Atif Aslam to South Africa this time around because he's just got hit after hit after hit. Every movie that he has sang in has been a raging success. And he's made those movies. I mean, the movies are excellent, the artists that are in there, but those songs of his, out of all the songs in those movies, Atif's song sticks out. There's Dildi Agala, there's Selfish, and then he's got Jab Kohi Baat, a whole new remix that it's taken the world by storm. It's a new, fresh spunk on the song. How do you know when it's the right time to bring an artist back to South Africa? You know, when we look at doing or bringing artists in South Africa, we look at who's making waves. Artif's been making waves now recently with all the chart-busting numbers. And you know, the audiences want him. So what's next on the cards for you? If you want to know what we're doing, you need to watch Mela. It was intriguing to hear about the future, but the man of the moment was Atif, and a capacity crowd eagerly awaited the concert. The minute he opened his mouth, he had the audience spellbound. Thanks in no small part to his remarkable ability to project his voice using a technique known as vocal belting. His Bollywood breakthrough came in 2006 with the song Vo Lamhe, and Atif's voice has featured in a steady stream of soundtrack hits since then. has also established himself as a songwriter, recording artist and a live performer of international standing. Touring North America, the UK, the Emirates, Asia and of course South Africa. Atif's singing career began in his student days and this part of his life resembles the plot of a Bollywood movie. He first achieved success as a band member and then, having fallen out with a friend, made it to the top as a solo artist. While he's usually described as a pop artist, Atif also weaves traditional elements into his music, especially the Kavali style. Combine this with his ability to sing in Hindi, Urdu, Punjabi and Bengali with equal facility and to express emotion convincingly across languages and styles and his popularity needs no further explanation. The show was excellent, fantastic. I absolutely loved it. It was so good. Because it's mind-blowing. His band is amazing, he's amazing. I loved the music and he sang my favorite song, Dil Diya Gaya. I think all of his songs are my favorite songs, yeah. 